but y'all hold on let me get Drinking, I like to have sex. How fuck the niggas that's putting the checks? Dance on the dick, now you've been served. I like a dick with a little bit of curve. Hit this pussy with an uppercut. Call that nigga Captain Hook. Ayy, I go shopping. Mm, want it, then I cop it. Ayy, yeah, bitches popping. Mm, I do what they copy. Ayy, look, he's a sweetie. Mm, kiss it when he eat it. Ayy, yeah, know it's good. Ayy, you chewing. Ayy, sing it. I love niggas with conversation. That hey, you guys. Welcome back to Life of What? Beer 2X. Today we are doing a story time when I lied to my parents. Um, but look, fool, feel me? Y'all might be doing more eating than talking, but y'all hold on, let me get. Come on. Come on, my bike. I swear. Bro, I have it all day. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, it's a lot of stories of when I lied to my mom, but it's one that I got caught in. Um. So I think it was one day I was in high school and I told my mom whatever. I was like, Mom, um. Um, I'm staying after school, so um, I'm telling my mom I'm staying after school, but it's because for tutoring staff. I stay after school for tutoring. I went with some friends, whatever, um, and stuff. Uh, um, what happened was that I told her early that morning, like when I seen her, cause she used to take me to school every morning, whatever, and I told her. Um, I had told her whatever, um, I'm hanging out with a couple friends or whatever and stuff after school. Y'all, I did hang out with my friends, but honey, we was with a whole bunch of dudes though, like. A whole bunch of them, like. So. I think I didn't have a phone, like, I was just not my friend's phone or whatever. You know, you might have background noise, don't look at that. Okay, so, I was just my friend's phone, whatever. And, um, I was just talking to my friend, whatever. And, um, I told my mom, oh, I'm staying after school for touring. So, she's like, oh, okay, that's cool, whatever. So, I told my mom, oh, I'm staying after school for touring. So, she was like, I thought you were going to hang out with some friends. I used to stay after school for tutoring. I told her I had to test the next day. So, y'all, that day I had on makeup. And whatever, like I was really about to stay after school, you guys. Like, I don't know, everyone, but that day I had my makeup, whatever. So, um, I'll never forget my mom. I literally, okay, so y'all, I was like, it's a Dollar Tree because it was a Dollar Tree by my school. Y'all, if anybody know my mom, y'all know she'll play no damn games. So, you feel me? I see her from a distance because, like, I mean, everybody has a car, whatever, but I know how my mom drives. So, I see her from a distance. Or whatever it is. So I was like, I thought I was tweaking for a little bit because I mean, I had makeup, you guys. That's when my mom realized I wore makeup and stuff. Y'all. She skirted on me like, skirt. My. She was like, oh, so what do you think you want? I was like, oh, I'm going to Dollar Tree and get a couple of snacks. She was like, no, because, oh, you trying to do some other stuff. Which I was, you guys. Like, I heard her two lies in one day. I was not going to rent. I was not hanging out with friends. The whole thing was that 
I was hanging out with my boyfriend, so I had all these people in it. So she went there. I'm trying to hang around with him. So, you know. My mom was so mad. My mom was like, get your ass, get your ass in this car. I was like, oh my God. So embarrassing. Like, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, she was so embarrassing, you guys. And then, uh, after that, I got in the car, whatever. She was like, you should have, like, really tried to like me. But we were like, too. So it was a group, it was like three girls and one boy. The boy was my boyfriend. I was like, man. Ma, you cannot be fucking serious. Like, you guys, I literally lied to her so many times in one day. I don't know. I know it's not. So that be, I think, I feel like that story time was stupid. So, I'm tell y'all another one. So, when I was a senior, whatever, like, you know how you a senior, you get out of class, you get out early, whatever. So, I told my mom, yeah, I told my mom that um, I was with a couple friends, whatever, to drop off some stuff at her house, whatever. So, she was like, oh, okay, Tierra. I lied about that. So, I was with this dude, whatever. I was with a dude, whatever. I just wanted to, like, go over there, whatever chill with him Netflix and chill bro y'all my mom turned my phone off my mom was the queen at turning my phone off and she still is like no she turned my phone off i was sorry as fuck she was like sister i'm gonna turn your phone off the only reason why i lie is because i know my mom i've been knowing her for 19 years First of all, what parent want their kids to hang around a boy? None. So I was just like, I was like, damn, she really turned my phone off. So she turned my phone off and like, this will happen, y'all. This is what really, like, literally ticked her off. My birthday was literally, was it two, two? It was like the week after. It was coming up. So it was like the week after, whatever. And like, literally, guys, let me tell you. Let me tell y'all what I did. So I came home, like, uh, the little driver driving, driving towards my house, right? My mom wasn't at home, but I know my dad was at home. So, like, I had got out the car, right? And I went into Wi Fi, got connected to my phone at the time. So I was waiting until Wi Fi got connected to my phone. So I was texting this dude, whatever, and I was like, oh, I'm going back, I'm coming back over your house because my mom is sleeping. So. He was like, oh, okay. So, y'all, I went back over his house, right? And y'all, lift driver rolled past my house, and I see my mom pulling in. I was like, oh, shit. So, I went back to his house, y'all. I stayed the whole night. I stayed the whole night because I was scared of my mom. I knew if she see me, she was going to pull my motherfucking braids out because I had braids in. She's gonna put my voice up very down and drag me up and down the damn stairs. So, y'all, I was really scared. So, I stayed the whole night. Matter of fact, y'all, I stayed for two nights after the night. Y'all, mine get you, get you doing crazy stuff. Y'all, I stayed for two nights or whatever. My mom's still trying to contact with me. Her cousin got contacting me, telling me to come on, go home and stuff. It's not the simple fact that I didn't want to go home. It's the simple fact if I do go home, I know what I'm going to get an ass whooping. So, I'm just sitting there, and eventually, y'all, I'm just sitting there chilling, whatever. I will turn I turn on my phone because, like, the person I was with, he had Wi-Fi. So, I turned on my phone and whatever, and, like, waited until, like, she texted me, whatever, and she texted me on Instagram. I was like, oh, you need to come home. No, this is my mom's favorite thing to say. I thought I pulled in for a point. You need to come home. Girl. Y'all, at this time, I'm 17, y'all, but I'm right. Okay. So, y'all, y'all feel me? After that, so she she said she got a post report. I was not believing it. So, y'all, I would literally turn my phone for two seconds. And turn back off. But my mom, 
she had down she had got this thing through Verizon that like if you still turn up your phone she can still find your location and whatever so y'all y'all she found out where I was at whatever but like she found out the complex I was at but she didn't know exactly the address and stuff so I mean when my phone was on like it kept on saying like disabled and whatever you can't get on your phone or anything but what I messed up at is like keep on turning it on and it kept on like checking my location or whatever. No. Well, I'll tell you about. No, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. My brother did some color action. My brother did some color action. First of all, he hacked my Instagram. He hacked my Snapchat. Bro. <laughs> you know. My nigga was all through my shit. Like. I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, he hacked my stuff. Like, I couldn't even log into my own stuff. So, she found out who I was with, right? Really? Mm -hmm. So, she called my person, and was like, oh, where to your at? So, like, I mean, I told him to lie or whatever. And so, he's all right or whatever. And that's, you know, the next day. I think was, I don't know if it was on spring break. I don't know what holiday it was. But, Lily, y'all. And the next day, we was walking to the corner store, whatever. And whatever. We hit that corner, bro. So, I see my mom on my baby. Bro. Y'all, when I see y'all. My brother is fast, y'all. My brother is fast. So, you feel me? I took off before him because I know how fast he is. So, y'all, I took off whatever I hit. No, no, one of them promise me, y'all. You know, one of them promise when you can just open the door and there's like doors and whatever. So, I open the door, whatever, and I try to hide on the side. But, y'all, what I done fucked up at is that. I had on some pink shoes, my pink and white bands, and I had on some khakis, or whatever, so, and then I had on his jacket, so that's why I fucked up at y'all, I had on these pink shoes, she knew what I was at school, cause she dropped me off, and it went to school, like, oh my god, y'all, it was just terrible, and after that, y'all, I went home, she took my phone, guys. She took everything. Moral to the story. Don't lie to your parents. Just keep it 100 with your parents. Because when you lie to your parents, you feel bad about it. And you just think, like, dang, I should just been truthful. I should just let her know what I was going to do. But sometimes you do be scared that um your parents are going to say no. Of course, your parents, all your parents should say no. Especially if you're 17-year-old trying to hang around with boys. The one thing that should be on your mind is grades and school. That's it. My mind was all over the place. That's the reason why I got myself in this situation. I got myself in during that time. Y'all, I did this. I did this when I was 16 and 17. And there was mistake I ever did. I, um, for my birthday, they did give me something, but it wasn't what I was asking for. And, yeah, it was terrible. My 15, 16 birthday. And 17th birthday. Y'all no, forgot. I did three years in a row. I'm going to tell y'all right now. The one stuff that I did wasn't a clue at all. And um, if you're scared to tell your mom, first of all, y'all shouldn't really want to do that. But if you're scared to tell your mom, then just don't do it. And more of the story, I feel like when me i was so young i wanted to be around people i wanted to do stuff but my mom wasn't having it because i'm a girl or whatever and like like what my mom always say when you be fast that's what happened we're not gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about that on a whole nother story time so y'all more to the story being fast get you in the world trouble it gets you hurt it gets you doing stuff that you want to do so yeah you guys um another thing um 
how can I put this, y'all? Like, it's something on my head, but I can't really, like, another thing. Mm. Okay, another thing. Listen to y'all parents. Especially when they had been and done it. Like, you feel me? Like, you got to listen to your parents. It was at the simple fact, I was just hard-headed. I just wanted to be around that person and stuff. But guess what? Guess where we at now? Um, we're not together or anything. Wishing the best or whatever, but you get what you pay for. So y'all, I had the worstest birthday. I mean, my 18th and 19th birthday was the best for me because I ain't doing it anymore. But y'all, the third, it was the third straw for me, especially for my 17th and my no my sweet 16. Like I want a big party for that, but I can have one because I want to act up 17 at the 18 got it together 19 really got it together it's like the older you get the more you think like damn that could be your kids i can like that and i will be damn if my little my little girl act up thinking she gonna be out there with some boy honey you don't get snatched but you know more of the story y'all i hate it i hate it one bit I like said, I still think about every day because how you want to be grown, but you're not acting like a grown up. Doesn't make sense. So now, y'all, why if I do stuff, I tell her I'm going to tomorrow. I really don't do anything, you guys, because you done did so much when you was little. <laughs> it's like, I don't really want to do nothing. I just want to be cool, keep cool, calm. So, y'all. Don't do this. Y'all, I lied. Stay down. I just kept on going, like. And it's not the simple fact that, you know, I was with a boy, but it was the simple fact that I kept on lying about it. Like, I would know. It was no need for it, but, y'all. Her name. My mom was not playing around with me, y'all. And if y'all know my mom, if y'all experienced her, if she texts your phone before, she don't play games. So, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. We're going to stop it right there because, honey, it made me mad all over again. So, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If y'all like this story time, please let me know. If y'all want more story time, please let me know. Comment below.